Good news. Australia is among the biggest in the world at something. The bad news is that it's how much debt households are in. Compared to similar developed economies, our level of household debt is more than double our disposable income. This chart is from 2021, and new data from the Reserve Bank shows the growth and the culprit, housing. The high cost of having somewhere to live means Australians are in huge debt. The Treasurer noted today that about a fifth of mortgages were fixed when rates were low. Those loans will soon become variable and be subject to the current interest rates. One of the reasons why there's such a massive focus on the Reserve Bank. The RBA board doesn't meet this month, but most economists expect it to again hike rates in February. After that, there's less consensus on what's going to happen. US markets shed a full percent because new job figures show there's a tight labour market. So there's little chance its central bank, known as the Fed, will stop raising rates there. The Aussie dollar up against major currencies, and that's not intended as a slight on the Kiwis. Oil up a percentage point after big losses in recent days and gold shining at its highest level since June. On our market, shares in fund manager Magellan cratered after it announced that customers had walked $2.6 billion out the front door after poor results. Maybe with less to manage, they'll be better at it. And that's finance.